Hi, it's XJ. Quick and dirty time and shout out to Snowflake Girl. That was the email um, for giving us this question. And it's from, as you guys can see, SAT practice test six. And it's a very good question to go over. And thank you for pointing this out. This is a, as you guys know, this is an evidence question. If you guys want to know the category, it's command of evidence textual. But as you guys also know, I am not content with just giving you guys the college board classifications because honestly, they're not that helpful. Okay, so this is, okay, correlational support. Okay, now does that seem like a difficult concept? It can, but it's really not that bad. We're just going to draw some arrows. Okay, that's what we're going to. We're going to draw some arrows. So which finding, if true, will most directly support the idea? So the idea advanced by these guys is over here. So could you and should you read through the um, beginning parts of the text? Well, for most people, it doesn't hurt because it doesn't take that much time. And people also feel like they have a better handle on things if they know a little bit better what the terminologies are that's going on. However, regardless of how much time you want to spend on the beginning, I do need to emphasize we need to focus right here, right where I have it marked off, because we have to look at the idea of Gil and DL in order to see what would support their idea. Okay, so what do these guys say? They did posit that. So the word posit means they um, theorize, they claim, they hypothesize, whatever. Okay, so what do we have? They said, okay, NFM reduces voting probability. Okay, so that means I have identified a negative correlation. Negative correlation just means when one thing goes up, the other goes down. So how do I know it's negative? We have the word reduces, okay? So in terms of arrows, I'm gonna have, okay, so when NFM goes up, which I don't even know what it is, I don't really care, okay? Voting probability goes down, okay? So I'm going to need to have some type of evidence that would lead to NFM going up, voting probability goes down, okay? So let's see, um, answer choice A, NFM attitude tends to increase. Okay, so this one, I'm having NFM goes up. There's some birds flying by, that's fine. Um, people are significantly more likely to vote. Okay, so that's, they're more likely to vote, right? So vote, I'm just gonna write BP. It goes up, that's literally the opposite of what I put over here, so that's out, okay? So with each of these answer choices, when I have um, probabilities or trends go up or down, reduces the likelihood or increases the likelihood, I want to make arrows, okay? Just make arrows. So then, look, let's look at B. NFM attitude has a strong negative effect on political knowledge and interest. Okay, so I'm going to do NFM. Goes up. Political knowledge and interest goes down. And there is a known strong positive correlation between political knowledge and interest and the likelihood of voting. Okay, this is where people get mixed up. Positive correlation just means that the arrows are in the same direction. Let me repeat that because it's a really important idea, okay? Negative correlation means the arrows are in opposite direction. Positive correlation means the arrows are in the same direction. Just memorize that, okay? So, there's a strong positive correlation between political knowledge and interest. That's the, what, what we just um, drew, right? Likelihood of voting is another way of saying voting probability, right? So since it's a positive correlation, I'm going to draw a down arrow. This is where it gets people. They're like, why would it be positive and then the arrow goes down? Positive doesn't mean up, guys. Positive just means it goes in the same direction. I'm repeating this like three times because so many students get hung up on this. Okay. So there's a positive correlation between these things. I drew a down arrow for this concept over here. So I'm going to draw a down arrow here. So then let's look at this overall. Did this match what I drew before I looked at the answer? Yes. Here and here. Okay. So that's how we get to the answer. And that's my answer here. That's B. And I would really vastly recommend and prefer you guys did this method, not because, you know, it, I mean, it does make me happy when you guys listen to me because, you know, it feels nice to be uh, appreciated, but it's more, it will make it so much easier for you guys. And students have so much difficulty when they have to wade through a lot of text. Okay. And then um, C, let's see. NFM shows little correlation that cannot be, I'm skipping through, right? Cause like, I'm just gonna show you quick ways of eliminating the other ones. I'm trying to show that NFM makes a difference, okay? So then the fact that it has little correlation can never be the evidence for it does make a difference. So that's out. And then answer choice D, voting increases, knowledge increases. Okay, cool. NFM, aha, uh -huh. okay. So we have NFM goes up, 
because it says strengthen as, okay? Okay, and FM goes up, political knowledge goes up, which would mean the probability of voting goes up. So all of these are increases as it goes, strengthens as it goes. That's a positive correlation, okay? So for these, you really want to do a practice of which words am I going to memorize that mean positive correlation, right? Which is, if I just had the word correlates, corresponds, can be explained by positive effect, strengthens, enhances, all of those words, they mean same direction arrow, okay? The other way around, if it reduces the probability negative correlation, they are opposite direction. These are opposite, right? Arrows, okay? So that's what you want to focus on, okay? Otherwise, this can be, it can be solved, but to actually logic it out, I would say, takes much more time than you guys should be debating, uh, devoting for this question, okay? So um, once again, thank you for emailing me this question, and I will try to get to these um, quickly as possible. My semester just ended at Columbia, so I will be hard at work, um, really ramping it up for you guys to prepare uh, for the upcoming summer for the, um, you know, SAT and whatever else college admissions you guys need, really. Okay. So um, thanks for watching and study every day with sexy J. It's the best way you already know. Bye bye.